Hello, welcome back. We're on to the seventh episode of House of the Dragon and last episode we had the massive time jump where we have the new actors for Rhaenyra and for Alison. There we go. <laughs> and yeah, no, the two of them are beefing and that's really entertaining. I'm enjoying it. I see both sides. I can see both sides. I think I am leaning a little bit more towards Alison, but I could also argue that I'm Switzerland in this situation. We'll see how it goes. I feel like that's going to change as we go on with the show. The king's not dead yet. That's another thing we've got to wait for. <laughs> Damon was married, but then she burnt herself. <laughs> she set herself on fire. So rest in peace, that lady. What was her name? Lena or something. I don't know. They've all got names similar to that. There's, there's some situation in Driftmark or the Stepstones with the Martell family. I don't really know what's going on there, but I think we're going to go into that now, I'm assuming. Oh yes, and it ended with Rhaenyra leaving King's Landing. So she's heading off to Dragonstone with her family. Probably for the best. Also, there's that guy. <laughs> the psycho one who decided to kill his entire his his father and his brother and he wants something from Allison and I'm yet to quite know what I'm assuming it's sex I can't really think of what else it could possibly be there's something tells me that there's more to it than that but yeah let's let's get into it what's going on oh it's her funeral ah oh. it was Lena let's go I like the music they're playing Oh, they're all there for it, bloody hell. Oh, Otto, hello. And he's the hand, look at that. Bloody hell. He doesn't look too happy. Does he blame Damon? I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. Oh. Fake family, fake family. <laughs> Bastard children. <laughs> Stop laughing. Oh, that's his sister. It's nice to see people actually care about someone dying for once. Usually they die and then that's it, we move on. Oh, stop. These two annoy me. And <laughs> the look she gives her, bloody hell. Oh, they're all staring at her, jeez. Your little cousins who lost their mother could use a kind word. I have an equal claim to sympathy. Jace. She'd be a harrowing and warning Lord Lionel as a whole. Oh yeah, that as well. It would not be appropriate. The Valarians are out. And the strong center. That's not true, but whatever. <laughs> they need to stop, like, giving her the evil eye. It's not that serious. He looks so battered, and Damon looks exactly the same. Weaving dragons of thread. Oh, this girl is weird. We have nothing in common. She's our sister. You marry her then. I would perform my duty if Mum had only betrothed us. <laughs> if only. It would strengthen the family. Oh God. blood pure. We actually do have one thing in common. We both fancy creatures with very long legs. Oh, I hate these kids. Ugh. This guy. Lionel strong son has been staring at you since the moment we arrived at this. Yeah, he has. It is only a look of pride, Sir Kristen. Laris is the new Lord of Harrenhal. Oh, of course he is, yeah. Harrenhal is where they have that siege, isn't it? Where they captured Jamie, I think. Oh, look at the kids. Aww. Are they going to get married? Knowing these families. To be fair, he's actually not blood related to them. This could work. Well, other than the fact that high tide will be yours one day. there's connection between Valarian and, you know, the Targaryens way back. I don't want to. Aww. It's your birthright, lad. I much prefer Rhaenyra's children to Alicent's kids. From the Lord of Driftmark, it means everyone's dead. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, it's like, you know how there's that song, um, I just can't wait to be king from The Lion King, but he's just saying, I'm waiting for my dad to die, essentially. Oh, this kid is such a prick. Stop. This is your wife's funeral. Aww. Oh. That's really sad. <laughs> Retrieve your patron. Oh, jeez. There's no need for that. Are we all just going to stand about and stare at each other? I guess maybe Sorry, they were well, waiting for the other to show up. The guards can be cruel. Damon was happy to just wait for him to come to him. It seems they have been especially cruel to you. <laughs> That's not nice. Yes. You should return with us to King's Landing, the time that you came home. Pentos is my home. There's a place for you in my court. That's something you should need. I need... Nothing. What was he gonna say there? 
I'd rather if it, he was in Pentos. I don't want him in King's Landing. He's oh. just going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, well, well, well. And that fat that each craves, it always wants for another meal. Otto looks basically the same as well. People are aging at different rates here. <laughs> Go to bed. Go to bed? It's still light outside, the fuck. Go to bed, Emma. Okay, we're all going to bed. Jesus. Shall I see after Queen Alice in your place? Oh shit, he called her Emma. I didn't even clock that. No, sir, Alice. God damn. You have the night. Whoops. Jeez. Brother. To be fair, these kids need some proper disciplining. If Otto's gonna do that. It got dark really quick, I can barely see. <laughs> she wanted to come home, and he denied her. Mm. Damon did what he thought best. Damon only ever does what is best for Damon. Lena needed our maesters. Yep. The surgeons in Pentos are as well trained as our maesters. You're looking to place blame for an act of the gods. Mayhaps the gods have scorned us for our insatiable pride. Interesting. The crown was yours until those fools at the great council plucked it from your head. We're still talking about this. It's not justice for your wife that drives you, it is your own ambition. Exactly. He's doing this for Just himself. Just for the throne. If not for yourself, then for the scions of your house. I gave up the idea of wearing a crown a generation ago. It is you, Lord Husband, who refuses to abandon this pursuit, mm -hmm. even now at the cost of our children. I agree. But look, he can tell. You can see in his face that he does care. He's not a complete wanker. <laughs> what is this brief mortal life, if not the pursuit of legacy? Legacy may be why you live your life, Corliss. I live my life for family, or something like that. I think legacy is important. But probably not the most important thing. I want thing. Driftmark to pass through Lena's line to Bela. Not to the... To true Valarian blood. Ooh, she doesn't want it going to the other kids. Declare it now while all are gathered here, and we will say that is how we will honour Lena's memory. And disinherit our son. Sheesh. He will be the king consort. His son will one day sit the Iron Throne. You would have me cast an even darker shadow over those little boys than already exists. We exactly. Are husband. You can speak the plain truth as we both know it. Oh, everybody knows. <sighs> People aren't going to take it very well. But I and guess if you have the excuse of it's in Lena's memory. History does not remember blood. It remembers names. So he's very much the forward-thinking. Legacy, the future, history, how people are remembered. I mean, he's correct, I guess, to a certain extent. History is what you make of it. If you decide to announce the other people, then that legitimizes them. If you decide not to, then it doesn't. Lenor has been restless for years, but... So it was Lena and Lenor. I know better <laughs> than anyone that our marriage is a farce, but I at least make the effort to maintain appearances. You have more to lose. We did try to conceive a child. We performed our duty as best we could, but to no avail. There was no joy in it. I found that elsewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it felt good to be desired. Should have forbidden Sir Arwen from returning to the Riverlands. Harren's curse is said to be as strong now as it was after the conquest. It's a ghost story. Yeah. Once Rosser and the Queen would gladly exploit. I do not believe Alicent capable of cold murder. It wasn't Alicent, but close enough. <laughs> Each of us is capable of depravity. No more than you would believe. Damon's quite wise here, actually. I mean, he's not 100% correct, but, you know. I believe it of you. If you're accusing me of some depravity, you'll need to be more specific. <laughs> You abandoned me. I spared you. You were a child. Yes. Yes, I was a child. And look at what my life became without you. Oh, fuck off. Stop. Oh, stop. I hate these I two. Ugh. Did you love her? Are you jealous? Oh, my God. We were happy enough. Well, that in itself is a great achievement. Compared to the first wife, yeah, definitely. Stop. No. No. Get lost. Venera, stop. I'm no longer a child. Oh, fuck off. Why are they trying to make this, like, kind of romantic? Also, I literally can't see anything. It's so dark. <laughs> Wait, the kid? Is he watching them? 
I literally can't see. The kid doesn't look happy. I'm guessing he saw them. I, I couldn't tell you what just happened. Didn't see it. <laughs> it's literally pitch black. Oh my God. The fuck is happening? Oh, he's gone to the dragon. Oh yeah, because he doesn't have a dragon. Ah. Stupid kid. Leave him alone. Oh my God. The dragon's trying to sleep. Leave it alone. Big ass dragon. Fucking hell. Stupid kid. Honestly, kids are so annoying. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> This reminds me of <laughs> Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban when Harry is riding the hippocrypt for the first time. Because there's a bit where he goes by the water just like this. Wake up. Someone stole Vega. Why would you tell the other kid? Why not tell the adults? Who is it? <laughs> it just plops. Are dragons fireproof then? Because they produce fire themselves. You can't like set a dragon on fire. Vega is my mother's dragon. Your mother's dead. Bitch. Vega has a new rider now. She was mine to claim. Then you should have claimed her. What the fuck? Maybe your cousins can find you a pig to ride. What the hell? Suit you. Nah, I hate these kids. I actually hate them. Oh, look at that. Well done. You bitch. Come at me again and I'll feed you to my dragon. Oh, you cunt. <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh my god, I hate children. What the hell? <gasps> Oh my god! Kids fighting? I don't think I've seen this before. Where are the adults? Oh my god. What on? Fuck off. You. Die screaming in flames just as your father did. What the bastards? My father's alive! Oh my god. Children! Children, stop! Go to nursery. What the fuck is happening? Oh my god, we're gonna have a dead child in our hands. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, this is so fucked. Let me see. The prick deserved it, but Jesus. How could you allow such a thing to happen? None of you are good parents. Not a single one of you. I will have answers. The princess was supposed to be a bed, my king. Yeah, no shit. You swore oaths to protect and defend my blood! I'm very sorry, your grace. King's guard have never had to defend princes from princes. Your that way. is no answer! I mean, it's true, but what the hell? Why not, master? The eye is lost, your grace. Rest in peace, your eye. Where were you? Me. Oh, oh, what was that for? It was nothing compared to the abuse your brother suffered while you were drowning in your cups, you fool. What is the meaning of this? I wouldn't blame it on him. So much shit happened, man. You guys were all asleep. <laughs> Luke! Oh, this is just gonna make Alison and Rhaenyra hate each other even more. Me. Christ. Who did this? They attacked me! He attacked Baylor! Oh, 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 oh my god, I hate children so much. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Yeah, no, exactly. There was a lot going on while well, you were busy fucking Eamon, your uncle. I will have the truth of what happened. You're not going to get the truth, man. No. All these kids have different stories. What else is there to hear? Your son has been maimed. Her son is responsible. It was a regrettable accident. Accident? The Prince Lucera has brought a blade to the ambush. He meant to kill my son. Mm -hmm. It was my sons who were attacked and forced to defend themselves. Yeah. Oh, this is Vile just not going to work out. Were oh. Against them. What insults? What do you think? She's not going to say it in front of everyone. The legitimacy of my son's birth was put loudly to question. Okay, she did what? say it. Called us bastards. He said you were Lord Strong. 
Look at him. My son prick. Are in line to inherit the Iron Throne, Your Grace. This is the highest of treasons. Interesting. Prince Aemon must be sharply questioned so we might learn where he heard such slanders. Over an insult. My son has lost an eye. Well, he was fucking attacking them as well. You also, he stole someone else's dragon. Where did you hear this lie? The insult was training our bluster. The lot of boys, it was nothing. Aemon. Mummy told me. <laughs> Where's Elaenor? I wonder the boy's father. Perhaps he might have something to say in the matter. Yes, where is Selena? Yeah, good question. Where is he? I do not know, Your Grace. I could not find sleep. I had gone out to walk. Yeah, sure. Entertaining his young squire's adventure. Oh my god, they're all just saying it out loud. Stop smiling. Amen. Dickhead. Who spoke these lies to you? Is he gonna say? He's not gonna say his mum, is he? It was Uncle. Okay, he says his own brother. Me. Interesting. Boy. Where did you hear it from? We oh fucking hell, it's like reverse Chinese whispers. Where did you hear such calumnies? Agon! Tell me the truth of it! I heard it from my mum. We know. Everyone knows. Okay, he's just saying it as it is. Bloody just hell. Look at them. Oh my god, they're just saying it. <laughs> god damn. Oh shit, she's really isolated now. I knew the kids would be trouble. This interminable infighting must cease! All of you! We are a family! He's still not just gonna- he's not gonna acknowledge it still. Now make your apologies and show goodwill to one another. Bloody hell. His loyalty to Rhaenyra is next level. I respect it in a way, but also fucking hell. Like, Alicent's like, what the hell? What else must I do to prove this to you? <laughs> that is insufficient. Here we go, see? Aemond has been damaged permanently. My king, goodwill cannot make him whole. I know, Alicent. There is a debt to be paid. I don't know, chop off a kid's arm or something? I shall have one of her son's eyes in return. Oh my goodness. My Alicent, stop. Wife. He is your son, sir. Your blood. If the king will not seek justice, the queen will. Sir Kristen. Don't. Bring me the eye of Lucerys Valarian. Are you sick in the head? Mother. Alicent. He can choose which eye to keep a privilege he did not grant my son. Oh he my god. Psychotic. You stay your hand. No, you have sworn to me! Fucking hell. As your protector, my queen. Mental illness. Stop this. Oh, this is all so fucked. She's just gonna get more and more angry. Oh my god. <sighs> I hate children. Let it be known. Such oh, anyone whose tongue dares to question the birth of Princess Rhaenyra's sons should have it removed. Thank you, Father. Bloody hell. He's so on Rhaenyra's side. It's crazy. Alison, oh my god, Alison! Stop it! it. <laughs> Fucking hell. She's lost the plot. You went too far. I. What have I done? But what was expected of me? True. Forever upholding the kingdom, the family, the law. Will you flout it all to do as you please? Alison, let her go. Where is duty? Where is sacrifice? Is trampled under your pretty foot again. Release the blade, Alison. Listen to your dad. My son is high. And to even that you feel entitled. Exhausting, wasn't it? <laughs> Hiding beneath the cloak of your own righteousness. But now they see you as you are. Oh my god. Did she actually cut her? Oh my god. It was just your arm. Yes, that's better than your heart. But Alison, that was not the right move. I understand your frustrations, but Jesus girl, you gotta learn to control your temper. Especially in front of everyone, that's so public. <laughs> Do not mourn me, mother. It was a fair exchange. Wow. I may have lost an eye, but I gained a dragon. Wow. Oh, this, this is so interesting. Is oh my god, they're all children. Even the adults. This just reminds me of all the squabbles I used to have when I was a kid. Because well, I have loads of cousins and... Occasionally you get frustrated with one another, you just get angry, and then sometimes I just lash out like crazy. But that's, you know, that's you being a kid. You can't be like that as a grown-ass woman. As a mother. Fucking hell. You can't just lash out like that. Say your piece. Now what piece is that? <laughs> yeah, time for you to get in trouble. I've conducted myself in a manner. I'm befitting my station. Oh, see, she knows. She knows. Or any other. I lost composure. Whoops. Already the word is spreading, the gossip speculating that I've gone mad. Ah. Uh, All true. I've disgraced myself. What are we going to do about that? And ensure that my husband's favour will forever rest on her. Yes, yes, yes. And yet, 
I've never seen that side of you, my daughter. Bloody hell, was he impressed? <laughs> I even doubted its existence. It was an ugly thing, I regret it. We play an ugly game. And now, for the first time, I see that you have the determination to win it. <sighs> Why am I on their side? <laughs> I know that I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> you see her for what she is. What the king's stubbornness has wrought. It's true. He's so afraid of yeah, acknowledging he's, he's, Rhaenyra doing something you. wrong. What else can he do? Now go to him. Be penitent. Rhaenyra just gets away with everything. It's so stuff. outrageous. How can she just go fuck Keep her uncle and person. like no one cares? And I promise you. She just time, keeps doing shit, bad stuff again prevail. and again and again because no matter what, her dad's gonna agree with her. What that rogue Aemon has done in winning Vega to our side. The boy was right. It's worth a thousand times the price he paid. They've just bought, well not bought, they've claimed a really big dragon. See, here's the thing, I might side with Alicent more than I side with Rhaenyra, but kids-wise, I much prefer Rhaenyra's children to Alicent's children. Alicent's children are all just pricks. Oh, this is just not fun to watch, is it? Where have you been, huh? Cots. Yeah, exactly. Is everyone all right? A broken nose is the worst. Thank you, mister. I should have been there. They should be our house words. <laughs> Aemond called our sons bastards. Because they are. I have failed you, Rhaenyra. Our boys. Your boys. I do love them. I know. Deeply. But I have not, mayhaps, loved them enough. I had hoped to bear your children. I hate the gods for making me as they did. Oh. I do not. You are an honourable man. Don't hate the gods for making you. <laughs> it's a rare thing. Like that. It's just an unfortunate situation. We made an arrangement. Do our duty and... You haven't really succeeded in that. Yes, explore happiness. But there are times, I think, when these things cannot mutually exist. I agree. I recommit myself to you. Good for you. And to strengthening our house as we prepare you for your ascension. They need to have their own I biological raise child. our sons to be princes of the realm. Lumi. You deserve better than what I have been. I'm so sorry. I believe her, though. Viserys. We'll speak no more of it. She 100% feels very guilty about what she's done. This is someone who prides herself in her ability to like do her duty, behave the right way. It was a massive lapse in judgment and everything. How are these guys going to react to it? Sort of stuck in the middle between these two sides. Well, that was not the way I expected the episode to turn out. Look at him in the background. Freak. What does he want? Get it out. The perversion of justice. The young prince. He's such a sycophant. Ugh. Indeed. If it's not I you want, balance the scales. I am your servant. Stop. She cut up the other woman. That's enough. That will not be necessary. Thank you, Alison. God. But your devotion has not gone unnoticed. These are dangerous times. The day will doubtless come when I require such a friend. With not only skill, but discretion as well. Bloody hell. I shall await your call. Well, so far the discretion has been alright. Only Damon has been wary. Rhaenyra didn't think she had it in her for cold-blooded murder. I need you, uncle. Ugh. The Greens. You're already married. That's why she it's looks so really upset really when so Lainol was like, I'm ready to be an actual husband for you. So what are you going to do exactly? Okay. Kill your husband? If that's what she's suggesting, then I can never side with her. Could not marry unless Leonor were dead. Is that exactly what she's suggesting? If that's the case, then I'm not on your side, girl. I cannot be dealing with you anymore. That's what. It, nah, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'm sick of you. <laughs> you cunt. Honestly, fuck you. Nah, she's the worst. <laughs> she's the worst. What about your exploits in the Stepstones, Sir Carl? Oh God, what are they up to? Be a knight of remarkable skill. You flatter me, my lord. You flatter me, my lord. Common ball. There are places across the narrow sea where it doesn't matter what a man's name is. What are you asking of me, my lord? A quick death, one with witnesses. The tyrant rules only through terror. If you are to be a strong queen, you must cultivate love and respect, yes, but your subjects must fear you. Who let you in here? No, I'm so done with this bitch. Team Green. <laughs> you have always looked down on me. I do love Lenin. And grant him this kindness. What death? Set him free. You forget yourself. My lord. Please. 
This will cost Lord Corliss and Princess Rhaenys their only remaining child. And the realm will whisper that I was somehow responsible. You are responsible, you cunt. Oh my god. No, I hate Rhaenyra. What the fuck is wrong with her? Whisper. She's actually psychotic. Oh my god. Okay, I know. <laughs> Oh, so like fucked. They will fear what else we might be capable of. You bitch. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, they made it really easy for me to decide who I side with now. Wow. Wow, this all just happened very quickly. The pacing of this show is a bit weird. Poor kids, man. Their parents are so psychotic. This is just so bad. <laughs> How, how do people possibly side with this? Oh wait, he's still alive? Oh, okay. Oh, so they burnt that other guy's face. To the point where he didn't look real. Okay, okay. I see what they did. Huh. Okay, I feel like that changes things a little bit then, if he's not actually dead. Maybe I don't feel as strongly now. Because <laughs> in a way... She's done him a massive favour. He can now feel free to be in a gay relationship without all the pressures of yada yada yada. Oh my god. Okay, no, that's complicated now. Oh. <laughs> Why can't things be easy? Oh my god. Because I was just thinking, how psychotic can you be? These poor um, Valarians, they've lost both of their children. I mean, in a way, it's still not a great thing because they think they've lost both their kids. Like, they're, they're mourning just as they would if he was actually dead so it is still not great but the fact they didn't actually kill him thank god yeah at least that's something yeah no that's actually it was actually quite nice of them to do that in a way i've been i've been flip-flopping this whole episode this is crazy oh i don't even know what to think anymore actually i still disapprove of this marriage i mean it's probably the best for them because they're equally as like yeah i said this before rhaenyra and daemon are very similar people in. I don't like it. I don't like it. I prefer the kids, the two boys. I think they're a lot more meek and children, you know. I said I hate children a lot this episode. Let me just like say that I don't actually hate them. I was just annoyed. <laughs> just to get that out there in case people think I'm a, a child hater. I'm not. I think kids generally are nice, but they can be a fucking pain in the ass, can't they? Jesus Christ. How did this all start because of goddamn kids? I've never seen kids fighting like that like so violently in um in tv and film before i don't think that was really crazy i mean i was right in a sense because i knew that that kid who didn't have a dragon was going to end up being a psycho ta-da <laughs> is i'm glad he lost an eye fuck you ah <laughs> allison as much as she made a mistake there with what she did she was 100 percent right in her frustrations in her upset and her you know it's 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 the king's fault it genuinely is he needs to stop with this shit he's so dedicated to Rhaenyra it's sickening it's actually I'm so done with it at first I was like yeah no fair enough I was supporting them actually I remember in the early episodes him and Rhaenyra were my favorite thing about the show I was like oh look at them father daughter oh now I'm just like god damn how many times are you gonna turn blind eye to this behavior that was the perfect opportunity to actually do something about it because everybody sort of in the room acknowledged, yeah, we all know they're not her kids. We all know. It wasn't like it was one person whispering about it in the hallways of like a massive castle. It was like all the most important people in the country, all in one room. And they're all sort of saying, yeah, we know. And yet he still refuses to acknowledge it. Like, I understand why that was really pissing off Alison, especially because her kid has just been deformed. As much as I don't like the kid, it's a very upsetting thing. It was interesting that Otto was like kind of proud of her for it. He was like, I didn't know you had it in you. It's true. Like she has like, like there's anger. There's so much anger in her. I really feel that anger and I understand it. As much as, you know, people like what, um, Rhaenyra's response to it was really interesting. She was like, you know, your guise of, um, correctness, of civility, of this, that, whatever. 
like this is all just masking a really hateful person um a really a hateful violent horrible person that's sort of what she was saying as much as that might be true maybe i'm just a hateful person as well maybe i'm just the ultimate hater like jealous bitchy can't be happy for other people kind of person maybe that's just who i am sometimes i think that i am actually this is an interesting delve into my own psychology uh <laughs> maybe i am just like a really spiteful bitch but I, I get how Alison feels and it's really frustrating. It's so frustrating. And just the fact that she was like, you know what? I don't want to be with my husband anymore. I'm just gonna get rid of him and I'm gonna marry my uncle. What the fuck? <laughs> Ugh, she's so infuriating. And the one redeeming thing here for me is the fact that she didn't actually kill Lena. Because if she did, that would be it. That, I, I mean, I was saying, I was like, I'm done with you, bitch. But she didn't actually kill him and in a way she kind of really helped him out so again we're sort of like uh i think if there was a spectrum and we've got rhaenyra here allison here i'm like here not fully there but i'm like there you get me let's say like 65 percent allison 35 percent. see my maths is so shocking 35 percent rhaenyra I don't like Alison's kids as well. That's a big thing. I feel like, I mean, what does it say about the parents that their kids are such pricks? <laughs> but they, she explicitly said the greens. And I, I, I know that with the new season coming out, it's like the greens versus the blacks. So this is the official announcement of these allegiances. Also, the Valarians, they're almost certainly going to be siding with the greens now. Because like, like Rhaenyra was saying, everyone's going to think that I was behind the killing of Lena. So if they think that, goddamn, you've got all of Driftmark siding with Alicent. You've got the Lord of Harrenhal siding with Alicent. I think that's quite powerful. Also, they've got this new dragon on their side. You've got Otto, who's like mastermind. And then on the other side, we'll have Rhaenyra, Daemon, and their children. I don't know, who else have they got? Is it just them, really? And the king, obviously. But the king's not going to be around for long, so. Hmm, interesting. What an episode, fucking hell. I really didn't know what to expect from that. It was all in one location as well, well, almost. God, it's really hyping up towards the end of the season, isn't it? It's exciting. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think each episode is getting more and more exciting for me. I'm really... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.